Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is Problem Solving Comparing Fractions. So don't forget your lessons are at MrMathlog.com. This is um, Chapter 9 we're starting. So how can we use the strategy Act It Out to solve comparison problems? So uh, here we're going to use fraction strips uh, to help us act this out. Recall if you see uh, this symbol, this symbol means less than, this symbol means greater than, and, and you guys know this symbol means equal. Okay, so we're going to use those symbols today. So Paul and Carol went for a walk. Paul walked three-fourths of a mile. Kara walked three-eighths of a mile. Who walked the longest? Okay, so well, let's read the problem. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find who walked the longer distance between the two. Okay, and then what information do we need to use? Well, we know that uh, Paul walked um, uh, three-fourths of a mile and Carol walked three-eighths of a mile. Okay, and then I'll put that up there where the picture was. So uh, how will we use the information? Well, we're going to uh, use fraction strips and compare the lengths of the models to find out who walked the longest distance, okay? So here's fraction strips right here. So this whole strip right here is one, one hole right here. And then here's the one hole cut up into eight equal lengths. And here's the one hole cut up into four equal lengths. So this is one-fourth right here, one-fourth, 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 one-fourth. You need four of them to make the hole. Here we need 8 of the 1 eighths to make the hole right here. Okay, so let's shade uh, 3 eighths and 3 fourths. Okay, well here in the fraction strip it's very easy to see that that 3 fourths goes out farther than 3 eighths right there. So let's go ahead and compare these lengths. So definitely 3 fourths is greater than 3 eighths right there. Okay. Uh, and so the length of three uh, of the three fourths model is greater than the length of the three eighths model. Well, that's pretty easy to see. So who walked the longer distance? Well, I got to remember who was it? Who, uh, who did who? All right. So Paul did the three fourths, and Carol walked the three eighths. So so Paul walked the longer distance right there. Okay, easy enough, huh, you guys? All right. So how do we know who walked the longer distance? Well, using the fraction strips, three fourths was definitely longer than three eighths. So here's three fourths. It went out. In fact, it went out twice as far as three eighths. Okay, because um, uh, the eighths are half as big as the fourths actually, because um, uh, uh, eight is two times uh, as big as four when you look at the denominators. Okay, and also the bottom number of the denominator tells us how many parts are in the whole. So having four parts in the whole only four parts to make up the whole is um, is much larger than having to have eight parts in the whole right here. So filling up the three eighths versus the three fourths, three fourths is definitely bigger. Okay, Amy and Emily are doing their homework. Amy has three sixths of her homework completed. Emily has five sixths of her homework completed. Who finished more of her homework? Well, this one's pretty easy because they have the same denominators, but we'll go ahead and do fraction strips one more time here. Okay, so uh, what do we need to find? Well, we need to figure out uh, who did more of their homework, who has more of their homework completed. Okay, what information do we need to use? Well, we'll go ahead and use uh, the fact that up here Amy has three-sixths of her homework completed and Emily has five-sixths of her homework completed. So how are we going to use this information? Well, we're going to use fraction strips again to solve this problem. Okay, so here's fraction strips, and I have uh, divided up into six equal pieces because it's in terms of six. They're both in terms of six. Well, this is pretty easy, you guys. We'll shade three six, and we'll shade five six, and we'll definitely see that three six is less than five six right there, okay? All right, so who completed more of their homework? Uh, Emily completed more of her homework because she's the one who had the five six completed right there. All right, so here's a question that, that we didn't have to use fraction strips. So how do we know that 5, 6 is greater than 3, 6 without using the model? Well, um, they both had the same denominator, which was 6. This tells us that there were 6 equal parts that made the whole. So definitely 5 of those equal parts is going to be more of 3 of the same equal parts right there. So if they have the same denominators right here, you just got to look at the numerators. So the numerator 5 is bigger than the numerator 3 right there. Okay, so that's only if they have the same uh, denominators, you guys. So how did the model help us solve the problem? Well, again, the fraction strips let us see how many parts are in the whole. So uh, which one went farthest uh, lets us see which fraction was greater on that. Okay, all right, let's do this one without fraction strips. So Blake and Daryl each had pizza for their lunch. Blake ate five-eighths of his pizza and Daryl ate seven-eighths of his pizza. Who ate more of the pizza? Okay, well, they both have the common denominator 8, so all we got to look at is the numerator. 
5 is less than 7, so definitely Daryl ate more of the pizza uh, because they have the same denominator there, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that helps. Take care.